first challenge I'm facing from the farm is uh, environmental condition. This year, because it, uh, I didn't have rain, season has failed. The only seed that is being needed is resistant to disease and the all weather condition. Can you afford about? If it is not resistant to disease and weather condition, we have to lose because we have got to produce a low production. A low production is lost to the farmer. It's been extremely important to come here and speak directly to farmers because it's given me a greater appreciation for what they are thinking. Tishali mentioned that he's breeding for slowed down decoloration. This means creating beans that change their color slower. I was like, why would we breed for something like this? But farmers care about it because it lets them hold on to the seed for longer, which gives them more control over getting a good price for their seed. And it's stuff like that that I wouldn't have an appreciation for unless I came here and talked to breeders and met farmers directly. I've been devoting my time for bean breeding. I really want to change farmers' life. African farmers, they are poor, struggling with uh, low-yielding varieties. In genetic gain to increase or accelerate, we need to shorten the selection cycle. Instead of releasing varieties in a 10 years, we are focusing to release variety within four years. We shorten the selection method so that we increase the genetic gain. Thank you.